In this lesson, we'll be factoring using the AC method. Uh, previously, we factored when A was greater than 1. Um, I'm going to do an example when A equals 1 now. Um, my first example, x cubed minus x squared minus 2x. Um, the first thing we want to do always when factoring is see if we can pull out a GCF. Is there something common with each of these terms? And there is. There's an x, right? So I'm going to pull out an x from my equation <clears throat> or my expression. I have an x squared minus x minus 2. All right, so this is now going to be my new a, B, and C. So my new A is just going to be 1, B, negative 1, C, negative 2. We want to draw our X, A, C on top, B on the bottom. My A times C is negative 2. My B is negative 1. Now we want to list the factors. So list factors of a times c, um, which is negative 2. Um, my only factors of 2 are 1 and 2, or you could say 2 and 1. All right, so now we want it to multiply to a negative number and then add to a negative 1. So in order to multiply to a negative number, one of these has to be negative. So say we do negative 1 times 2, we get negative 2. Now say we have negative 1 times 2. If we were to add those, we'd get positive 1, not negative. So this one doesn't work. But now say we have negative 2 and positive 1. Multiplies to negative 2. Adds to negative 1. So this is what I'm going to write on the sides of my x. So negative 2, positive 1. All right, so this is the one we're looking at here. Now we have our new B terms. We're just changing our B term in this equation to this. So we don't want to lose this X, so I'm going to rewrite this X. And then I'm going to rewrite everything else I have. So I have X squared. I'm changing my B term, minus 2. So I'm changing my B term to negative 2x plus 1x. So I'm not losing this x that I factored out, but now I'm going to factor this by grouping. I'm just going to bring down, honestly, my x to the very end so I don't forget. Um, what is my GCF of the first two terms? An x then I have an x minus 2 left, a GCF of the second two terms, um, just be a positive 1. Then I have an x minus 2 left. Those are the same, which means we did it right. So we're pulling out an x minus 2, and then we have x plus 1. I wrote my x a little low. So this is fully factored. Done. 